Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up a simple fitness or exercise program within Trainerize. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. You know, I've made some alterations to how Trainerize works and we can do progressions. So essentially there's two ways to do uh, an exercise or fitness challenge that I use. One is with a dummy client and the other is with a workout template. Either way you use, you're going to have to start with a workout template. Okay, to set up your fitness challenge, uh, a good fitness challenge we always use is a monthly challenge. And uh, uh, it's actually like kind of a squat over. So our, our one we're running, running in October is squat over. So you can see we've got our targets on there. And we're literally going to put that into a, a calendar format for our clients. Okay, back of the trainer eyes. First thing you're going to want to do is go to do workout templates. Now I've already set up one for squat table, but if you've never done it before, I'll just quickly show you how to do it. So it's hash squat toba. Okay, we start building and now we're just gonna drag over the exercises into this workout. This one's really simple, it's just one exercise which is a squat which goes up in quantity each day. Let's just find the right video we want to use. There it is. Okay, so we're going to want to set the uh, sets to one and to start on the bottom of your rep challenge. So for us, the squat table is 50. It's a good idea to fill up the instructions with uh, a little bit about A, the, the challenge, and B, probably you could put a link back into your website. So I normally put a little bit of blurb in from the blog. So if I just copy this over. There we go. And you're going to want a little bit of a link, so I'll copy the link over as well. Okay. Same close. That's the easiest part done. Workout template which you're going to need for both dummy client version and the workout template. So both have the drawbacks and they're both time consuming you're going to have to set it up for each of your clients. Um, but once it is set up the easiest way is a dummy client but that does replace the training plan. So if your clients already have a training plan they use you're going to want to not use that one. Okay so if we go over Myself. <coughs> okay, so I've set up the workout template. All you're going to do is transfer that workout template to all your clients. And actually, what I've just done that is not the best way to do it. When we go to clients because you're probably going to be transferring this to all your clients. So here, just tag all your clients. However, for the purposes of this demo, we'll just transfer it to myself there, and we're going to copy across that workout. So from workout templates to me, we're looking for Scott Tobo 1, there it is, copy. So once it brings it over, it's in the training plan, but we haven't scheduled it. So switching into me. They're going to go to the training plan. Sorry, this is really quick. Okay, so training plan, nothing set up. So let's um, set something up. Um, and that's not. Normally, m all my clients have a, a training plan existing, and I always put the exercise program as an addition to that. So I always use workout templates in most cases. And so you're going to have your training plan already in there. Uh, I'll show you another way to do it in a minute with the dummy client, which we will populate that. But for now, we'll go to that calendar. Now we know that workout is in there. And we're just going to schedule that throughout the, all the days in October. Okay. So this is a time consuming bit because you have to set it for each day. I guess it's only really 10 15 clicks, but still.
So once we've got all the workouts scheduled, we can go back to training plan, edit the progressions, which is the, the nice handy bit, which we didn't used to have in Trainerize, which means that we can make it really easy. Training plan. So at the moment, every every other one of those workouts is set to 50 reps, which is what we set out as. But if we get tap on edit, edit progressions, we can now change that for each day. So this challenge, if I go back to the, to the blog, you'll be able to see it goes up five reps every day to the end on 200. So I want you to refer to that. It's nice and easy to remember. So start on 50 on the 1st of October. And so the time consuming bit is here because once you've scheduled it all, you've also got to change all the regressions. And remember, this is just one client. Okay. If you train someone to do this for you, for your clients, so I would recommend that as it will be easier, less time consuming for yourself. The reason this is good is because um, Trainerize sends a daily email to your clients with their workouts they need to do that day. So if your client is particularly lazy, they can just look at that email, see how many they've got to do for that challenge. They don't really have to go in and check it off, uh, but they'll know exactly what they need to do without going anywhere else. Uh, so even though they might not log into the app, they will get the email, and so in most cases I find that your clients will still actually even do it. Okay, that's it. All planned out. Five going up five a day, the whole month. Save and close, and we've got that scheduled for our clients. And so, if you're going to do a workout template, you'd have to repeat that process for every single client. Okay, so if you transfer the workout template itself into every client, you then need to go back into every client that you want that challenge to run on and change the progressions and schedule it in their calendar. So it takes time. Okay, so if you've got some clients or maybe you're introducing some clients or they're just trying out the system or something, you could set them up on just a challenge. Okay, that, that's nice and easy because you can just set up the challenge on a dummy client and copy it over to multiple clients without having to schedule and edit the progressions because we do that all for a dummy client. Okay, so for a dummy client, uh, I think I've set up a Squattober client. There we go. So I've set up a Squattober client. Okay. If you don't need it, don't know how to do that, then just um do I must do but it's just edit adding a new client, add new. Okay, uh I set up a squat over email address on our domain. First last name, squat over two thousand fifteen is what I used and assign it to yourself. Okay. So if I switch into our squat over account I've made And we're going to find that we're ready to schedule this. Some of it. Okay, so I've scheduled some of it. Squat table one on all these. I'm just going to finish that off now. Um, okay, so the good thing about the workout template is once you've scheduled this on onto the dummy client, you don't have to do it again. Okay. But the, the drawback of this method is that once you transfer it over to your clients, it's going to raise whatever training plan they've already got on there. And in most cases, the clients already have some sort of training plan going.
already start this thing on there. Never mind. All scheduled. So that is ready to go. And on your dummy client, training plan, squat table, just fill the bump up with the, the same stuff. So you're going to want your link to your website, you're going to want the blurb from your website or something of that nature, or something describing the challenge. Um, it's, it's, it's a good idea if you're going to do a challenge, might as well make a blog out of it. Um, Okay, so this is my Scott over done with the link. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to put it in your clients. So head over to your clients tab. And if you're going to switch it to all, you're just going to select, or you might want to carefully go through and just select the ones you want. Select the clients. Okay, copy. Find that workout template. Uh, sorry, dummy client could go from, from a diet, dummy client to this new client. So this is this option from. Oh, sorry, this one from dummy client to X select our clients. And we're going to find Squattober. Well, our Squattober plan is set up. We're just going to copy all this across. Make sure it's all the same as that first one. Done. Okay, so when we copy that across, it's going to put everything we've just done in the Squattober dummy client into all those clients listed on the right hand side. We're not going to do that. Okay, because that will raise all their training plans which are carefully constructed. So cancel that. But that should give, give you a good idea of how to set up a little exercise plan for your clients. That's pretty much it. If you've got any questions or, or you want more info, do read through the blog where I've explained it a little more clearly and go through it a little bit slower for you. Okay, thank you and if you'd like, please subscribe.